Hey, Molly, what's going on? Please open the door. Welcome back, Ashley. Took you long enough, didn't it? You're so late, I almost fell asleep waiting for you. Where were you at this hour? Shopping? Had to pick up my daughter Lily from kindergarten. Could you take off the door chain? I can't get in with it on. How did you even get in? I didn't give you a spare key, did I? I just borrowed it from my husband, George. But how did you know I was here? Are you spying on me or something? That's kind of creepy. There's a pet cam in the living room, and you can check what's happening in the house on your phone. I even saw you lounging on the couch, binge-watching TV shows and sipping beer this early in the day. Could you tidy up a bit? Don't want the cat getting into anything. Oh, you have a cat? Since when? Recently. Have you seen her around? Huh? I don't see it. I didn't notice one since I got here. So, you have a cat. No wonder it smells. I don't like it. It stinks. You're not a fan of cats, huh, Molly? Not a fan? I absolutely despise them. I'm supposed to live here from now on and it's going to be a problem if I have to deal with this. Huh? You want to live here? What are you talking about? I mentioned it earlier. I'm moving in here. I'm going to be living with you. Tim will be thrilled. Wait, living together? I've never heard anything about this before. I don't need your permission for everything, do I? You're my daughter-in-law, so you should listen to your mother-in-law. Just do as I say and stop arguing. But there's no available space in the house. This place is meant for a small family, so there's no extra room to spare. Your kid is small, so you can figure out sharing a room somehow. Actually, one of the rooms is being used as a storage space. Have you even looked around the house? Of course I have. This is my home from now on. By the way, Molly, what got you thinking like that? Huh? You're always singing Jack's praises. But you never seem to pay attention to Tim, your second son. Oh? That's not true. Don't talk nonsense. I've treated my children equally, whether they're my first or second son. Is that so? Tim felt like you hated him since he was little. No matter what he did, you never praised him, and you didn't even celebrate his birthday. How can that be? Tim is my son, my dearest precious son. Uh-huh. I'm sure he'll agree to live with me. He's such a sweet boy. I doubt it. Ugh, you're so confident. Stop talking back to me all the time. Well, that's not the point right now. Could you please remove the door chain? Why? Why? We can't come in if you don't. It's my house. Please, Lily started to fuss to come inside. She needs to rest. She just got back from kindergarten. Oh, that girl. She's not cute at all. Just like her mother. She doesn't even smile at me when she sees me. No hint of affection. And she cries a lot. She's far from adorable. Uh, that's not nice. Please don't say that. Lily is your granddaughter. She cries because you always get angry with her and make scary faces. How dare you say that? Are you saying it's my fault? You're always complaining to me, your mother-in-law. When you married Tim, I told you I didn't want a granddaughter. But you had a girl, and it's your fault. If you feel so bad, try having a grandson for me. You can't, right? Uh, that's terrible. If you can't, then shut up. Oh no, I found the cat. It's gross. Please, don't scare her. 
She's just a kitten. Huh? I just threw it out the window. Huh? You did what? Don't you understand I hate cats? I can't live with that thing. Oh, it stinks. Anyway, please take off the door chain. Let's talk inside. I don't want to. What? What do you mean? Are you trying to keep me out of the house? Yes, that's right. From now on, I will live here alone with Tim. Uh, what about me and Lily? Well, I want you to leave. And also, will you break up with Tim? I'd rather not have a daughter-in-law who stands up to her mother-in-law like you. If necessary, I'll find a suitable wife for Tim. An obedient wife who can give me a grandson. Huh? What are you talking about? Hey, Molly, don't turn off the pet cam. We don't have any cats in the house anymore, so why do we need it? It's so weird to be watched. It's a crime to spy on people's lives. Ugh, that's enough. Lily needs to use the bathroom, so I'm stepping out for a while. I'll be right back, so just take off the chain. And don't come back again. If you're at work, you can reply later. Ashley, what's up? Did something happen to Lily? No, no, she's fine. I picked her all right from kindergarten. Molly took over our house. What? Mom took over our house? What's going on? I don't get it at all. I went to pick Lily up from kindergarten, and when I came home, I found that the door chain was on, so I couldn't get in. And I couldn't see inside through the curtains. So I checked with a pet cam and found Molly lying on the sofa in the living room. I was relieved to see it was her, not a burglar. But it's strange, isn't it? So I called her and asked to remove the door chain, but she wouldn't do it. Seriously? But how did she get into the house? You locked the door before you went out, didn't you? You didn't give her a key, right? Of course not. Apparently, she used the spare key we gave to George, just in case. Wow. Mom knew about the spare key. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have given it to him. Where are you guys? She didn't let you in, did she? You're outside the house? Isn't it too hot there? No, that's okay. Lily needed to go to the bathroom, so I went to my friend's house in the neighborhood, and we're staying there. That's good to hear. I'm glad you have friends to help you. Sorry for my mom made trouble. Well, I'm worried about one thing. Mom hates cats. I know. She says she hated them and threw our cat out the window. Poor thing. What? She threw it out? Uh, no way. What is she doing? Is the cat okay? Don't tell me it ran away or something. If something happened to the cat, Lily would be sad. It's fine. It came right up to Lily when it was thrown out. But I have to get home soon. It looks nervous in a strange house. Lily just got back from kindergarten, and it's time for her nap. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'll try to convince Mom first. Oh? Jane has sent me a message. Maybe it's about Mom. I'll contact her. I'll message you later. Okay. I talked with Jane. What did she say? I knew it. There was trouble over there at their home. Mom had a fight with Jane and left. A fight? They got into a heated argument last night and things got out of hand. They just keep arguing every day, right? But I wonder if it was a big deal for them to make Molly run away from home. What was the cause of the fight? Apparently, Jane recently started working part-time and that rubbed Mom the wrong way. She didn't tell Mom beforehand. When Mom found out, she was furious about it. Huh? She started working? That's the only thing that made Molly angry? 
Yeah, that's all she said. Sounds unbelievable, right? I thought it was some kind of bigger problem. Ugh, nonsense. Speaking of which, what about your brother Jack? I wonder if he stood up for his wife against Molly. Well, she told me that he was always on her side when Mom bullies her. And this time, he was angry with Mom because she wouldn't listen to him. Apparently, she didn't like that either. So, she ran away from home to show them she is a victim. I'm surprised that such a gentle-mannered person like Jack would get angry. Yeah, she was surprised that she'd never seen him angry before. But why is Molly against her working part-time? Their son is in elementary school now, and there's no problem she works while he is at school. It would help the family financially. Mom said, you're going to start working and neglect your husband? That's what I heard from Jane. What? Neglect her husband? No way. Jane is perfect in everything. She wouldn't cut corners on the housework, would she? You're right. Jane said she doesn't understand what's wrong with doing her part-time job. Besides, Mom told her that a wife is a slave to the family and should work only for them. She says she would never allow her to work outside the home. Ugh, that's terrible. What kind of thinking is that? It's so anachronistic. My brother was furious at this. He said, you think my wife is a slave to her? Well said, Jack. Then we have consequences now, though. Yeah, I wonder what mom is going to do now. I definitely don't want to live with her. Just thinking about it is too much for me. I don't want to live with her either. Lily says she's scared of her. She doesn't like her at all. I know. Mom has only cared for Jack's kids and hates Lily. She never has done anything for Lily since she was born. She acts like she doesn't care about us at all. <sighs> That's true. I'm not invited to family gatherings just because I'm the second son's wife, and I'm treated like a maid if I'm invited. And she talks ill of me in front of people and made up stories to make fun of me. I don't want to be even in the same room with her. I feel sorry for you and Lily because I'm the second son. Oh no, you don't have to. Being the second son is totally fine. She's just crazy. I think it's weird, but she thinks only first son is precious. Lily is a girl, so she's nothing in her mind. I feel sorry for her. I know, but I was kind of happy that she didn't care about us because we could be away from her. But I don't know what to do when she suddenly barges in on us like this. Hmm. It's a little earlier than our plan, but why don't we move to the new place? Well, maybe it works. We can move in now, so I think we should start living there today. We can buy appliances and other things that we need later, and more importantly, it's next door to your parents' house. So Lily will be happy, right? I guess so. Lily will be happy to see her beloved grandfather. Alright, will you bring Lily's and my stuff today? Molly will let you into the house. I'm sure she'd want you to come home soon. <laughs> oh, I hate seeing her. I wish she'll be gone when I get home. I've never felt so bad like this to get home. Well, well, well. Please try to convince her to do something to make this go away peacefully, too. I'm not even going to see her because she wants me to get out and divorce you. Huh? She actually said that? I'm really sorry. Don't say you're breaking up with me, okay? I won't say that. Well, I'm the second son's wife, and I only gave birth to a granddaughter, so I'm a failure from her point of view. Overall thinking is making me want to cut ties with Mom now. You just don't bring up such a drastic idea. In times like this, we have to be calm and patient. Well, alright. I'm going to live with Mom for a little while. And I'll settle things in a few days. Huh? Settle things? Well, I'll tell you later. I guess we'll settle things so that we can live happily together. And what do you need for now? 
Lily's kindergarten stuff and your daily necessities and other things as we see fit? Yeah, that's right. I have most of it packed up so you can see what you're looking for. Also, don't forget things for the cats. Things like cat toilets, dishes, beds, and so on. Oh, and food. That's quite a haul. Oh yeah, I'll manage to carry it. Anyway, are you okay, Ashley? Can you go to the house with the cat and the kid? Do you want me to give you a ride? I'll be fine. I'll tell my dad and he'll be happy to come get us. Your father loves Lily a lot, and Lily loves her grandfather. But if he can't make it, just let me know. I'll come get you. Anyway, don't push yourself too hard, Ashley. I won't, I promise. Then I'll deliver the package tonight. Thanks. Ashley, good morning. I hope you're not still sleeping just because it's Saturday. That's lazy. I don't like the way those wives nowadays do things. Good morning, Molly. Oh, you're up. You know what? Tim told me this yesterday. He said we're going to live together. As I expected, he's happy to live with me. Besides, I heard that you won't be coming back to this house anymore. I'm glad you found a place to live so quickly. It's good that you're taking quick action. <laughs> right. We won't be going back to that house anymore, so please go ahead and live with your son. Oh, you understand the situation well. I have to give you credit for that. Thanks. So, Ashley, there's something I want to tell you. What's up? Tim is so thoughtful to give me a ticket to play so that I can relax and enjoy without housework and everything. It's a little far away, but it's a show I wanted to see, so I am so happy. He also booked a dinner for me at the hotel, and I'm going to enjoy the whole day from morning till night. He even offered to stay overnight, but I couldn't stay away from the house without Tim, so I said no to that. How do you like it? Aren't you jealous? <laughs> I'm glad you're looking forward to it. What? You should envy me more. Ah, boring. You know, you and Jane are not fun as wives of my sons. You both are boring. I'm sorry. By the way, I heard you and Jane had a fight. I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't care anything about Jack and Jane. The only family I have is Tim. A wife who should just shut up and listen to what her mother-in-law says. That's what she has to do. She's the eldest son's wife. She should be taking care of him and his parents, not going to work. Ugh, what was she thinking? I'm getting vexed now that I think about it. I'm sure she went through a lot of hardship. I guess she wanted to get out and change her mind. It's a good thing with increased income and all. Huh? Are you on her side? Don't you think it's unforgivable for a wife to go out to work? Ashley, are you trying to say that I'm wrong? If I may speak from the same wife's point of view, how could she live in a house like that? What? Ugh, talking to you makes me tired. Don't contact me again. Goodbye. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. How's it going? How's the new place? If there's anything you need, I'll deliver it to you. It's comfortable. My parents live next door, so I feel safe. That's great. Hey, I heard you gave your mom a ticket to the play and dinner at the hotel. She was so happy she called me. Oh, I gave it to her saying thank you for all she's done for me. I didn't even think about it. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I really wanted her to stay overnight, but she says she didn't want to go that far, so she'll be away only for a day. I'm sure you can relax and take it easy without her for the whole day. I guess so. Molly doesn't seem to want to go back to her own house. She said she only has one son now, Tim. Oh, man. I called Dad and he said he's tired of it and wants to leave her. What? That's a little troubling. Was it really that serious, your parents? Yeah, he said he's fed up with her. No matter how many times he tried to stop her, 
she wouldn't stop bullying Jane, spending Jack's money, and all that. Wow, that's awful. Is he thinking about divorcing her? Yeah, he's very serious about it, and he seems to have made up his mind. Does Molly know about that? No, she doesn't. If she knew, she wouldn't be acting like that. That's true. And Jack is so upset about this time. He says he wants to break off the relationship with Mom. He doesn't even want to let her see her grandkid anymore. He's totally pissed off. Whoa, maybe there's no way to fix this. She deserves it. She's done too much wrong in the past. Yeah, I know, it's sad. But she's been treating us so badly, we can't feel sorry for her. Yeah, that's right. I've been despised as a second son since I was born, so I don't feel anything for her. That's true. I was bullied because I was the second son's wife. And I felt especially sorry for Lily because she is a girl. She wasn't treated well at all. I know. Well, you just have to hang on a little longer. That settlement you were talking about before, you still don't tell me? Oh well, <laughs> you'll have to look forward to it. You just enjoyed teasing me with that. Oh, the kitty's urging me to eat. Okay, I'll call you later. Yeah, talk to you later. Hey, Ashley, what's going on? Answer the phone. What is it, Molly? Lily's sleeping. Please be quiet. What the hell is going on? What is what? I came home from seeing a play, and the house is empty except for my stuff. Uh, what do you mean? Tim is at home, and Tim's stuff is missing. Where the hell has he gone? Oh, we moved out today. We didn't tell you, though. Huh? We were planning to move originally, but because of you, the schedule got moved up a little bit. What do you mean? We built a house on the lot next to my parents' house. We moved there. <gasps> I didn't hear anything about that. What are you thinking? How could you build a house without telling me? Because you never cared about us until now. <laughs> That's not true. You don't even know that I'm pregnant, do you? We haven't seen each other for a long time. It's been about half a year since we last saw each other, right? It wasn't that long ago. Huh? Ashley, you're pregnant? Yes, I'm almost in my last month. What a heartless wife. You have to let me know about things like that. I should be prepared for that, you know. I told you, but you didn't listen to me at all. And what do you mean you should be prepared? If it was a girl again, you would ignore her anyway. What are you talking about? You make everything sound like I'm the bad guy. You are so terrible. So, what are you going to do now, Molly? Huh? What? Speak plainly. Our contract for renting that house will expire at the end of this month. The next tenant has already decided, so you have to move out as soon as possible. What? I didn't know that. I was going to live here. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I don't know. It was you who barged in here on your own without considering our convenience, you know. You'll have to deal with it yourself. And I have no choice but to go back to my old house. I have to live with Jane again. Ah, I wonder if you can go back to that house. What? Why not? It's my house, of course. I can go back there. What are you talking about? Well, didn't George tell you about the future? About the future? What do you mean by that? That your husband wants to divorce you. Huh? George wants to divorce me? You're lying, right? Don't talk nonsense. He seems to be serious. He's been patient until now, but he says he can't stand your behavior anymore. <gasps> That's a lie! And if it's true, I bet my son Jack can handle it for me. I knew I could count on my first son in times like this. Second son is just not good enough. 
Unfortunately, Jack seems to have lost his temper this time and is in favor of divorce. What? He has been annoyed by the way you treated Jane. He wants to get rid of you from his life to protect her. Also, I don't know if I should be the one to tell you this, but he wants to cut off the ties with you. I don't believe it! He would never say such an awful thing! Stop kidding me! I'm sorry. This is all I can say. The rest should be dealt with by those involved. You're just making random remarks, aren't you? Everything is true, so please discuss any further matters with your husband and son. I don't have anything to say to you. And we will cut off all ties with you from now on. This is also a fact, so please accept it. What are you talking about? There's no way I would allow such a thing. I will never forgive you. You are my slave. When you get married, you are to be your mother-in-law's slave. You are to take care of me for the rest of your life. I will not listen to anyone who disrespects my husband or my daughter. When did I ever disrespect them? I paid group respect to them as my son and granddaughter. Don't you dare say anything out of place. I guess you didn't get anything from this after all. Huh? What are you trying to say? Please, don't interfere with our family anymore. We're strangers now. I don't even want to see your face anymore. Don't contact us again, and I will block your account as well. Hold on! Goodbye. Molly was divorced by her husband and severed ties with her son. Desperate, she mistakenly set fire to the eaves of the house next to my parents' place, thinking it was our new home. Fortunately, the neighbor's house sustained only minor damage, but Molly caused a commotion and was apprehended by the police. It appears she also caught fire during the incident, resulting in severe burns on her arms and legs, making it difficult for her to walk. She's currently undergoing rehabilitation at a police hospital, complaining incessantly. Meanwhile, I gave birth to my second child, a boy, and our family of four now happily resides next door to my parents' place.